Hey guys, it's Mashaba, and today's video is going to be a review on the brand new Fenty Beauty What It Do Setting Spray. I love this name so much. And I love the packaging. It's so cute. It's definitely very Fenty Beauty. So this review is different because right now I actually know what I'm talking about. Normally I'm just a clueless dumbass trying out shit for first impression. But this I've actually worn for 10 hours. So I'm going to tell you all the tea on whether or not you should buy this $30 setting spray. This setting spray claims to be good for both using as a primer so using to hydrate the face and prep the face for makeup so that's what i did while trying out the setting spray it felt nice i feel like what's really interesting about the setting spray when i first tried it on is the spray and ugh, the setting spray is really hard to open but aware of that but yeah this setting spray Although it says in the instructions to keep it 10 inches to 12 inches away from your face, the setting spray actually, you have to kind of put it close because the mist is short. It's really fine, but it's short if you guys can see. It's kind of like going in this perimeter. I do love the mist though. It's super fine. You can, it barely feels like you have anything on and it also, it smells kind of good only thing is this setting spray does have alcohol in it it's one of the first ingredients so i mean i necessarily wouldn't want to put fragrance and alcohol on my face after putting on the setting spray i did the rest of my makeup and this is how my face looked like at the beginning of the day and i think it looked really nice this time i used my iphone camera just because i feel like the sunlight and i feel like the actual iphone camera will snitch on you like the iphone camera up close will tell on you it will show all of your ugly but overall i feel like my skin really looked like skin and it did look dewy from the first spritz of it but it didn't look bad at all also i'm sorry if i look really awkward i was like filming out in front of school and i just feel like i looked so awkward and i i filmed this at like 6 7 a.m so if i look really tired that's why i did this for y'all because you know the love of makeup but yeah i feel like my face looked really nice and i feel like it really made everything put together you know what i mean like i, I just feel like it all melted with each other and it does feel really nice and it does look really nice on first application the setting spray also claims to be something that you can use while putting on makeup so you can mix it in with your foundation or your concealer for me personally i have normal skin sometimes dry sometimes oily really depends on the weather but for the most part normal skin so if i do use a lot of any spray it will tend to make me look oily if i use a lot of mattifying products i'll look really matte i personally like to look really matte just because whenever i look crazy highlighted or dewy i feel like it emphasizes textures and pores but for this i obviously have to keep my biases aside because i mean the name is what it do so I mean, obviously, I'm gonna expect to be glowing for the gods. If you have really dry skin, I'd suggest you use it as a primer, mix it in with your foundation concealer to help it blend and to do it after if you really want the full dewiness. If you have oily or normal skin, I do feel like you could work with this. My favorite thing to do is to use a mattifying primer, which I didn't for this video just because I wanted to test this as a primer as well for how my fa face felt after skin prep. But if you don't like the overly dewy look, then yeah, use a mattifying primer and a mattifying powder and I feel like you're good to go with the setting spray. This is how my face looked like at the end of the day. I feel like I look basically the same, just a little bit dewier, but like... I, I I like this spray in terms of longevity. So this is what my skin looks with the studio lights. I feel like you can definitely see like the dewiness and the oiliness, but it doesn't look bad. So yeah, you want it, go get it. You want it, go get it. For a dewy setting spray, my, my grip with it is that normally I look like an oily mess after, but this, I feel like I still look like I had that golden hour glow. Like, you get what I mean? Like, even though it was like 5 p.m. at this point, like, I feel like I still looked cute. Like, I just had the setting spray on, but not overly oily, you know?
know? And if you feel like the setting spray looks a little too oily after the 10 hour mark, I feel like you could easily just take a tissue and blot it off gently because it's not so dewy to the point where it feels like your makeup is gross and melting off. Like you get what I mean? Like sometimes you just feel like your face is melting when you use a really dewy setting spray. But this, I actually didn't feel that at all at the end of the day. Also during application of it, one thing that I really love doing with dewy setting sprays is I don't put on my eyebrows or mascara or eyeliner or eyeshadow before setting spray. I just like to do my face first, which is why I looked like a thumb during the demo because I like to do my face first and then spray and then do the eyes just because dewy setting sprays tend to have oils and a lot of different herbal ingredients on it, which is typically used to take off your makeup. The third ingredient is witch hazel, which I would suggest to not use if you're putting on mascara and eyeliner because that tends to be an astringent. It's used to generally purify, cleanse the skin, and you don't want something that's gonna make you look like, you know, like raccoon or panda eyes. Yeah, other than that, I think the setting spray is pretty good. I think it's nice. I think the packaging is beautiful. Not the most efficient though, because not only is it kind of hard to take off, it's kind of hard to put back on just because it's not your typical round packaging. It's kind of like this, like kind of like a hexa hexagon in a circle fucked and had a baby. But yeah, overall, I feel like it's a good setting spray. I feel like it's something that you could use to manipulate and you could use to work for your skin type. For me personally, I will not be keeping this just because I like to look matte. I mean, that's just my personal preference just because I tend to have skin that does get oily at the end of the day and I don't like to add on to that dewiness, which is why I normally don't use a blinding highlight. But like, that's just me personally. But in terms of any of you guys, if you are interested in looking dewy and if you're not weird like me and you're not into crazy highlight, and you actually do like looking dewy like a glowy goddess, then I'd say go for it. The reason why I personally won't be keeping this is also because alcohol. Alcohol dries out my skin. I know this because when I was in high school, I used to use so many different alcohol-based shit and it fucked up my face. So I know this is not gonna be for me for someone who has sensitive skin, acne-prone skin, and someone who's into the matte look, but I mean, if you don't have bitch, bitchy skin like me, and if you want to look glowy, I'd say go for this. So overall, I think it's a good product, just not for me. Also, I'm like kind of a dumbass because I'm a matte type of girl, but I went for a dewy setting spray, but I just went for it just because it's Fenty and I love Fenty. So I was like, okay, why not? Like, fuck me up. I hope this video helped you guys. And if you want to see more shit like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.